Hey everybody, welcome back to Doc G's Reloading. Today I'm going to talk about this Garmin uh, Zero chronograph uh, that I just got uh, for 500, and uh, I just I used it the other day for pistol, and it was absolutely amazing. Uh, I thought it was absolutely cool, so I wanted to do a video on it today for you. Now this is what it comes with. So you get this, a short. USB-C is the USB-C one, so it's not a micro or a, a, a mini, it's the USB-C plug. It's that plug that's oval. It, it's not the asymmetrical plug with the flat side. It's uh, the AB USB-C uh, cord. And it comes with a short one of those. It comes with this, uh, this tripod, which is really all you need, and, um, and the instruction manual. <clears throat> now I have a lab radar the full size one, but to get that thing out to the range with everything, all the accessories I have with it, I literally have a rolling suitcase that I put it in. Uh, it's, it's that much crap to take to the range. With this, I bought a little SKB um, pick and pluck foam case for it, and I put this thing in the case, and that's all I need, and I go to the range, and it's wonderful. So what's neat about this uh, is that uh, you, you open it up and right away it goes to new session. So that's your, and I'm not gonna go through all the menu stuff today, but new session, history, and settings. And what's neat is <clears throat> you can set your data fields however you want them to be. And I even have, you even have the option of having the power factor um, in there. So what I did is I was shooting my handgun to make sure I was still at USPSA minor power factor for handguns. So I went in here and I put power factor in as one of the fields and I could see with every shot and you have to input your bullet weight and once you input your bullet weight um, it'll give you your power factor from each shot. So it tells you. Now my power factor yesterday came out after five shots it came out to 126. I mean you can't get any closer than that to you know 125 or, or more and I was at 126 with five shots. But that's what I was measuring. And what's really neat is, like I said, it's you can have a, a gray face like this, or you can swap it out and turn it into uh, the black background if you want to do that. Um, we'll go. Uh, I'm going to go through history right now just to show you some history on it. Um, but here's what I did yesterday. So there's five shots yesterday, and what's cool is you, you hook this up to your phone. You guys can see that. You hook this up to your phone, <clears throat> download their software, and then you use the phone, their, their, uh, your phone to go through all of the shots and everything. And then you can go through <clears throat> the sh uh, session summary uh, with the shot list, and you can go through every single shot. So you can go through the shot list, session summary. Um, let's see. So you can go through each. So here it gives you a summary of all five shots. So that's what's nice. It gives you a, I mean, a standard deviation of 11.4 is pretty good for handgun. The average is 854. For my bullet weight of 147, I need a minimum speed of 850 uh, to make minor power factor for USPSA. But it's really cool. Uh, the battery lasts on this thing forever. You just open up the side here and plug in your USB-C cable. And then, uh, What's really neat is this downloads to your phone. Once you get it on your phone, you can text it to yourself, you can email it to yourself, and then it opens up as an Excel spreadsheet, and then you can save that Excel spreadsheet on your laptop or whatever, and kind of keep track of whatever sessions you're doing out uh, in the field. So I thought that was uh, neat. And I'm gonna go back here, and I'll, let me show you on the settings here real quick. So on the settings, uh, which is neat, you can go here, so you can display units in feet per second. Uh, we'll switch the display color to background being black, and you can see that. So that's the background black with white lettering, or gray lettering, whatever you want to call it there. But that's, you know, different. I like the gray background. You know, that's just me. Um, and then you can set your backlight. I set the backlight to just 75% and a 30 second timeout for it. And then you can, like I said, you can set your data fields to whatever you want to have it set by. Now, 
<clears throat> the neat thing about this is uh, I was out at the range and I had a uh, table set up. So what I did is I just took this thing here <clears throat> and screwed it in. And then I took the case I had it on and set it on top of the case. Now what you do is you set it facing you, right? <clears throat> and then you take your gun. <clears throat> this is my gun. I'm gonna. This is my Atlas Artemis. This is the one I'm gonna do a video on in a minute. <clears throat> but anyway, what you want to be is you want to be. I'll set it sideways so you guys can see it. <clears throat> so you want to be five to fifteen inches above, and then basically the muzzle is kind of parallel with the top of it. It doesn't need to be super in front. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't put anything in front. Um, it, it can be a little bit behind it even, it doesn't matter. What I did is I kind of shot like this vertically, so you can see, uh, picked up every shot, no problem, um, absolutely cool, really neat, worked perfectly. Uh, now, if you're shooting a rifle from the prone position, you want the muzzle five to 15 inches in front of the, of the chronograph and five to 15 inches away from the barrel. Now you can go either side, it doesn't matter. But, you know, most right-handed shooters look, I guess, look to their left, I don't know. But anyway, I, I'd i probably just set it here. But anyway, um, yeah, so you want, you want the barrel, the tip of the barrel five to 15 inches ahead uh, when you're doing a rifle. <clears throat> so rifle and pistol are a little different. But um, <clears throat> regardless, uh, caught every shot, had no problem. Uh, catching the shots uh, and then what I really liked is I got instant feedback on the uh, Power factor, so that was really cool. I thought You know, I'm gonna have to sit here. I'm gonna have to calculate power factor. No, there's there's five or six different uh, Menus that you can do and I'm not gonna get into all like I said all the menus right now. It's just that uh, What's cool is that You can look online and go through there um, they have a, a build, you have the ability to download the PDF in um, like for Adobe Reader and you can pull up the instruction manual. The instruction manual is short, it's only a couple pages, it's very easy uh, to read through, it's not a lot of, so your data fields, yeah, I have standard deviation, I have power factor, I have extreme spread, and I have uh, shot list data which is deviation from average. So uh, you can select any data fields you want uh, to put in there. And like I said, there's quite a few to choose from, which makes this a very, very uh, easy to use and very compact with e extreme battery life. Now, the only thing the battery on this is built in, so you're never gonna be replacing it. Uh, you probably have to send it back to Garmin if the battery eventually died on it, where it wouldn't hold the charge. Uh, but uh, absolutely wonderful for me. Uh, I'm going to use it for rifle eventually and see how that works. Uh, if it works anywhere near as good as it did for the... Now, the only thing this doesn't do, like with the lab radar, you can set it in increments as it goes out. So you can set the bullet at muzzle, you can set it at 10 feet, you can set it at 100 feet, whatever you want, and you can get readings at all of those different intervals. I don't know really why you would need all of those different intervals, but it is a bit more, the Lab Radar full-size one is a bit more precise, and maybe that's better for academics, I don't know. Uh, I know for USPSA, they don't take the actual muzzle muzzle, they take it, I think, 10 feet out from the muzzle. Um, but, you know, regardless, um, I'm not worried about, you know, me not making minimum power factor I always have I've used the same ammo for the last five years and have not changed the ammo in any way shape or form I've not changed the crimp I've not changed the powder I've not changed anything and I always double check my powder you know every couple hundred rounds and uh, I've always made minor power factors so I've never had an issue with it at the USPA big USPSA uh, events so the lab radar may have a little bit more uh, ability to check the intervals as the bullet goes out to distance, but 
again, I don't know why you would really need that unless you're calculating ballistic coefficients or something, which again, you wouldn't use a lab radar for, you'd use more sophisticated equipment. But anyway, for a quick and dirty, I need to know what my muzzle velocity is. This is an absolutely great tool for 500 bucks. I mean, you can't beat it. Um, and it also shuts itself off after I think about uh, 20 or 30 minutes uh, if you're not using it at all uh, to save battery life. So if, if you stuck it in your case and left it on by accident, it'll shut itself off so you don't have to worry about that. That's built right in. Um, it may even be a half an hour, I'm not sure, but the good thing is you don't wear your battery down. This battery lasts forever. I've had the battery on a lot, uh, had this on a lot, because again, it's a low voltage screen, so it's not you're not really taking that much um, energy. Uh, so the lab radar, you know, obviously more sophisticated, uh, but this thing will do air rifles, it'll do bow and arrow, it'll do, like I said, just look online, check it out. Uh, but for me and for being able to instantly get feedback on power factor, that's awesome. And that's what I want, that's what I need. Um, not so much for rifle rounds, but for handgun rounds for sure. Uh, I thought that was neat that they had that included in here because that's not included in the lab radar that I have. So, uh, but this is it, the Garmin Zero Chronograph. Let me know if you have uh, any questions. Thanks again for watching Doc G's Reloading.